Hello everyone, welcome to MBY Productions. My name is Michael, most people call me Mike. Today we are going to be looking at um, the parts to the set of the Tommy and Johnny shorts. The series they created back in 2017. To get started, this is the locomotive that I used. It was from an old a Christmas train set that you could stick in your Christmas village. And this is what I used in these little figures they found. I've always meant to continue that series because I enjoyed making it. But my caboose did suffer a problem. As you can see on camera now, I think, you can see that the wheel kind of broke. I'm not quite sure how it broke. I think it was just because of the age of the plastic. Sometimes the older the plastic is, the more brittle it becomes. So... After that happened, I kind of just wanted to not risk breaking the train set anymore. Same with my Christmas village. Because every time I took them out of the box to set up, I also ran the risk of breaking or damaging them. So, I kind of decided that I want to not do that quite like that so I've been looking for another way to uh, film the show or to make the show and with me I have um, some of the other set pieces like the uh, the passenger car the interior for it um, and then the caboose I was going to film an episode with the caboose until I noticed that the wheel was broken. Um, and then the interiors for Tommy's house. I used index cards for these. And then here's Johnny's house. Johnny's house is a little more sim is simpler to have made. Yeah. That's why I imagine their house is to look like. So. We'll get these set pieces out of the way. And then this is the little train that ran around that Christmas tree in Tommy and Johnny's hometown. It's a little tiny thing. It's missing a wheel. But I think it served its purpose. Yeah. I still have the other cars. I just didn't bring them out of the um, basement. Simple little track that I created just to run the train around. And of course we have my the little figures of Tommy and Johnny. And I believe that these are Tommy and these are Johnny. I tried to create the characters based off of the colors that they wore. Not a perfect match, but it was good enough for the purposes that I had back then. And of course, these two figures never came with um, bases, so I ended up creating a, a base out of some hot glue. And then I could just, whenever I needed these characters to stand, I just pop them in 
your little base and you're good to go. And because that was a snow covered area, the hat glue blended in with the the ground. Also part of the other reason why I didn't want to continue is because I noticed that the glue was starting to affect the figures a little bit. So I again decided to play it safe and not do that and find some other way to film this series. So those are the original. And I've been currently working on a replacement for all of these to make the series new. So I made this guy. He's not exactly the same. And of course he's much smaller than this locomotive. But the benefits of this locomotive is that I could control this locomotive through the track. So I won't have to worry about tediously um, placing the locomotive every frame I can just do a live action shot with this locomotive so the plan for the new series is to make it a live action stop motion hybrid where the live action will be with all the models like the locomotive cars things like that and then have stop motion be with the little figures, which I have not quite made up yet. Actually, I have some drawings, but I don't have any figures quite yet. So that's what I've been working on. And um, I plan on making continuing. I am going to be continuing this project, and I think for the remainder of the recreation of all the different set pieces and characters and trying to bring this world back to life, I think I'm going to create a little mini-series, or not a mini-series, but a series about doing so. And I hope to get an episode out maybe every other week, depending on what my schedule allows and how lazy I'm feeling that week. But, yeah. So if you're interested, please stay tuned, and we'll see how this goes. I am hoping to get the first episode done by Christmas of 2022. That's my goal. Although seeing the state of the world at the moment, um, that's probably not going to happen. So, I'm still hoping for 2020, the Christmas of 2022. So, if this is something that you'd be interested in watching unfold, please subscribe or continue following. So, have a nice day everybody. Stay safe and hope to see you next time.